president came here, he said I'll go and buy furniture in Kawempe. He was riding uh, <coughs> uh, Santana. He gave his ministers <coughs> in the San Raure, we must, he said, we must be frugal with our resources. When I was in South Sudan, at the inauguration of that country, the president came with his jet, the chopper was there, there was a motorcade. When you combine the amount of money we spend on the president visiting, in fact, I sat with the ministers and MPs from UK and other countries that had been sent there by the speak. When the president arrived, they were wondering whether he was the president of South Sudan. South Africa, which is the biggest, second biggest economy in, in Africa, their president came with three vehicles provided by South Sudan. The one of Uganda came with a jet, with a chopper, with mm -hmm. a motorcade of about 50. And even all these people you see now uh, who are hovering around, it is not because they love the <laughs> president more than Mushega. It is because they have discovered when you go and begin praising the president, there will be personal benefits. And that's what is killing Uganda. We will never discuss uh, anything. In the parliament, we are discussing the president. On radio, everybody is discussing Mr. Museven. And it is only him who can stop this discussion. Museven goes with a big convoy. Well, Uganda happens to be in the midst of a turbulent area. Uh, I don't know whether Semuju Ibrahim joined, has ever joined the, the tabliks. Uh, some people are trying to bring terrorism here. I am a tablik. Oh, you are a tablik? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I hope you are not uh, linked to the other man. What is his name? Jamir Mukuru. So, we, we are living in a, a turbulent part of Africa, and uh, we, had to, we have to, to take measures against uh, terrorism. And for that one, we, I can walk, have no problem, I can sleep anywhere. But when it comes to anti-terrorism measures, sorry, we have no apologies to, to say that we, we secure uh, the president of Uganda so that we, we do our work. Uh, and, and Uganda has been in the front line of fighting those terrorists. Uh -huh. uh, you are talking of South Sudan, but uh, it, those are your issues. South Sudan, uh, you, you know Uganda stand on South Sudan. So if you don't know that, then uh, you shouldn't be in parliament. Uh, now, um, he talks about the extravagance and big expenditure by State House, and it claims that, you no, were first, frugal. He was talking about the convoy. I came yes. with the convoy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that convoy is because of terrorism. If there was mm -hmm. no terrorism, I, I, I just walk on, on foot. I have no problem at all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, the ah, 200 billion shillings mm. for State House. Mm. Yes, this is because I'm not uh, a decoration president to be there just president. I am a working president. Uh, my, first, fortunately, my State House controller is here. Uh, she came here by accident. I normally don't go around with her. <laughs> uh, but coming from now, this money when some of the actors fail to do their work, I do it myself. I start uh, model villages. You can go and visit, you can go and visit them. M model parishes, not, not just uh, villages. Uh, I don't know how many we have. You, you, you can actually give a statement a uh, later. Let them go and visit them. Like, I think, so, money has been going through NADS through you, members of parliament, through the districts, big amount of money has been going. But they have not been using it uh, properly uh, until we have had to come in now to use the army, and you will see the difference. But even before that, I couldn't, I couldn't be part of this, uh, not helping the people. Around Iksosi, I have nine villages with 1,500 homesteads. They have now gone to 1,700. I couldn't just go and watching those people. The, the man of Nadis, some of it was coming from uh, through Gomba, through Mpi. <coughs> At that time, Mpi was the district. But I wouldn't see what was happening. The other man was coming f f through Zimbabwe. I was not seeing what was happening.
Mm. But because of, of, of this budget of mine, I, I was able to intervene in those uh, uh, nine villages. You go there and see. The yeah. we, we give this huge amount of money to, to the system, but they don't implement what we have, we have talked about, or they don't do it the way I want. Now, if I have some small budget, and I do it, I say, okay, you people, you, you look here, I have done it. What's wrong with that? Why, why do you want to, to, to have a president who, who is simply just there as a decoration? You, you cannot, uh, th this is a model, just to show you the example. Mm -hmm. When I started uh, UPE, because me, I am not a president who lives in France. I've never even uh, visited Dubai. I visited Dubai for the first time just uh, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. when, when I go home, when I'm not in, in, in Nakasero, in Tebe, I am in my villages. And the peasants besiege me there. School fees, uh, poverty, what have you. We've got that reverend as members of parliament. Oh, 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 okay. But <laughs> oh, 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 if, you, if you, as a member of parliament, you have no solution, at least you're, you're a small player. But for, <laughs> the, but for the president to have no solution uh, at all is not, uh, not acceptable. I don't think that's not my, 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 my idea of leadership. Mm. So when I was facing these pressures, uh, I, 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 I started the first UPE school in my farm in Burera. So I said, what does it need to provide free education? What if I built the, the classrooms, paid the teachers? Why can't the children study free? So I started y using part of this budget. I built a primary school. Before UPE, before I was able to come out to the public and say, now we can provide free education for the whole country. I first did a pilot in my farm there. I gave them land, uh, uh, almost 100 uh, acres, and I built their school. So the children mm -hmm. come and studied. Ah, so we can provide, I, I started another pilot in uh, Rekumburo. So this budget of this president you are talking about, which you are trying to to make fun of the, what is, is a budget which delivers uh, alternative to mm. the people of Uganda. Okay. But besides, mm. uh, this president is not um, <coughs> somebody who just go, go, goes around with typewriter, with, with typists and people like that. Uh, he's a president who contributes to the security of the country. When we were fighting, we didn't know who would even survive. The first time we discussed the question of who should take which position was on the 20, we captured Kampara on the 26th of, of January 1986. And the following morning, 27th, we met in Rubiri, and the question was, what do we do now? Uh -huh. mm. So, my advice to you people, uh, and this is really serious advice, mm. and I'm glad I'm here, that's why, that's why I, I like to come and talk to you directly, so that you hear, you hear my advice. Mm. And, and this advice is uh, from somebody who knows what he's talking about. Uh, if you, you get an assignment, please do it. Mm. Do it, do it. Don't say, oh, what will I be tomorrow? What will I plan? What? No, no, no. Do your assignment. Do it well. When the time comes for something else, we, 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 people said we will sit down, those concerned, mm -hmm. and say, what do we do? Now, instead of people doing their assignment, they, they are busy dreaming, planning, scheming. That's not a good idea. Such people mm -hmm. don't succeed. I have seen many. So I cannot be part of that in this spring. To go here, start disturbing Ugandans. They have got enough problems to, to, to solve school fees, what have you. Yes, I want this, I want this, I want this. I am already given an assignment. Let me do it. Mm. When the time comes, we shall sit, the, the people who are concerned will sit <sighs> without campaign, mm. without pressures, without scheming, and say, what do we do next? People are busy struggling with life. Uh, with school fees, with all those things you are talking about. Yes. Now, instead of concentrating on those where you have an opportunity, in, in case you have an opportunity, 
But even if you didn't have, even, even in, in your private uh, capacity, you, you could help. Instead of doing that, you are busy uh, planning. What will I be? What will I be? What will I be? I, I want to be this. I want to be this. This is very wrong. It is wrong. It is indecent. It is not our way of working. As freedom fighters, uh, if we are talking like that, actually we would even be maybe even cowards. Mm. Because if my plan is to say, we, we are in Ruero, we are fighting, <coughs> uh, but my plan is to, to be president. That means I will have to uh, avoid risks so that I survive. Mm. <laughs> so that so it, it is totally it's a subversive it's a wrong way of working. So please don't be don't involve me in that. Mm. That I should uh, disturb Ugandans <coughs> with matters of tomorrow when we have got uh, serious issues of today, which need to be addressed by handling the, the ones of today. Uh, when tomorrow comes, people the people the Ugandans are there. The parties are there. Like in our case, we, we have our central committee, we have our NEC, we have the national conference. Those people will come and say, okay, we have done this in the last five years. What do we do now? So I, I would advise you really to stop that uh, mm. uh, 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 anarchy of mm. every, every, every day being election day. That's okay. not good. <laughs>